Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today we're going to start our third part series on building over the Rhine. Now we're going to deal with something which is my bane, and that's centering a flex application. So if you run the application that we have so far, let's go ahead and do that, press the green button. What you can see is it's not centered, it runs on the side. And when you're dealing with state navigation, as we are going to do in this tutorial set, is we need to take care of this problem right away. And there's actually two issues here. One is screen size and then centering a canvas. Uh, in the olden days, we were always building applications that were 640 by 480, and now we build 800 by 600, and we're moving to the higher resolution screens of 124 by 768. I'm still going to build this at 800 by 600, but keep in mind as you continue to build applications, those screen sizes get larger and larger, and we're actually looking our art group is looking at transitioning to the 1024 by 768 screen size. But for today, we'll do 800 by 600. Just a brief foray into that area, but sizes just keep getting bigger, and the capacities that computers can produce are, big, are getting larger as well. That's good, but you need to be aware of that, because if you build an application that's too small or too large, it won't run on the majority of screens. And then you'll get complaints from your customers, so it's something you need to take into account. So let's deal with the second issue here, and that's actually centering this application. So I'm going to source design. And the first thing I'm going to want to do is go to my applications tag. And I want to make sure that height is set to 100%. And width is set to 100%. That way, that application will take up the whole screen, but the, co but the contents needs to be centered as well. So what we're going to do, we're going to put everything inside a canvas. So I'm going to come along here and create a canvas, MX canvas. MX colon canvas. And close that tag. And when I do, I get the closing tag. I'm going to copy and paste that. So let's cut it and let's put it below all the canvases that I've already inserted. And now everything's inside a canvas. And I'm going to make the size of that canvas 800 by 600. So I'll go in here and type in width. And I've been some code help here, so click on the code help and type in 800 for width and height. 600 for height. And if I look at that design, not much has seemed to have changed. So I have to do one more thing. Go to Source. And here in Layout, where it says Absolute, change that to Vertical. And what that will do is center my canvas. And so now, once again, if you go back to Design, you can see it's centered now. And let's Control test that, or run it. Hit OK. And you can see now my application is actually centered in the screen when I run it, and that's exactly what I want uh, with this application. OK, that's good. Now I can proceed on with states navigation. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so I want to open up this states panel. And let's talk about the different buttons that we're going to have. And all I have to do right now is I'm going to right-click on state, and I'm going to create a new state, and I'm going to call it my home state. That's where the user is going to enter. I click here, set as start state, and I hit OK. Now let's double-click on this and open it up a little bit. And I don't want all these different components in my home state, of course. So what I'm going to do here as far as navigation is concerned is just start clicking on the ones I don't want. So at the home state, I won't have the wiki. I won't have the blog, or the reading room, or the flash media. But I will have all these other components. So let's double click on this to get back to where we were at. And now look, we have the base state, which has all the stuff we had in it before, and below that we have a home state. Very important here. Notice that I'm not going to let my base state be my home state. And you're going to learn this is the best way to work with states. You want that home state to be separate from the base state so you can keep going back to that base state. So now that I've 
created a home state. Let's go ahead and look and see where we're going with this particular application. In my navigation of states, I'm going to want to have a home state, a wiki state, a blog state, a community state, and a reading state. And so I'm going to take these containers out in each one of the states or put them in depending on what I want to happen in that particular state. So our next state is a wiki state, so let's create that. So from the base state, right click on the base step and go new state and type in wiki. Let's open this up a little bit so we can see the screen. And let's give ourselves a little bit more state here. And in the wiki state, click on the wiki state. All I want to have is the wiki. So I'm going to get in the menu system. So let's get rid of everything else. Okay, the podcast and the content. <clears throat> You can see back in the home state, we all, we have three components: the podcast, podcast content, and Yahoo Maps community site. But when we go to the wiki state, we only have the wiki because we've actually deleted everything else. So the great thing about states, it's it's a quick way to lay out your system and your nav system uh, graphically. So let's put another state in there, and the next state is the blog state. So go back to the base state right click on that and create new state and type in blog and in the blog state you see it's been created we don't want the wiki nor the reading room or the flash menu flash media menu or the yahoo maps or the podcasting and vodcasting or the content system. So those are all gone. But all that's left is the blog. Okay, the next state we want to create is the community state. Now you need to do all this from the base state. Don't create off another one. So one of the common mistakes that people make is you're not working in the right state. So they may be creating something and all of a sudden they go back and it's not there because they put it in the wrong state. So make sure you go back and work in this base state. Next thing you want to create is community site. So we'll just go right click new state and we'll put community in there hit OK and we're going to get rid of the wiki get rid of the blog get rid of the reading room get rid of the Yahoo Maps and the podcasting and the vodcasting and what we have left here is the flash media which will be our community site and there's one more that we need and that's the reading room so go back to base state which has all the states in it or all the components in it, hit new state and create reading. Okay. And now let's get rid of all those different components except for the reading room. And so if I go back over on the states menu side and I click on home, I see I have my home components there. Then I go to blog, and that's just my blog, my wiki, my community, and my reading. So everything's there now. And what we need to do next is actually create that navigation menu that allows us to go from state to state. So what's left to do here is to actually run the program and see what it's going to look like in our web page. And what's happened here is we've run the program and we've gone right to the home state. And it will not be until we add the navigation system that we'll be able to navigate to the different states, and we'll do that next time.